Welcome to the Monster Heads Club Podcast and Break Room Show for sports card and hobby enthusiasts. Brought to you by Piece of the Game. And now, here's your host, First Pitch Mitch. All right. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Break 10, 2017 Bowman Hobby Random Divisions. Let's get it started. Here's the box. I'm your host, First Pitch Mitch, a.k.a. Money Mitch P, and we have Quarantine Steve, my usual podcast compadre host here hanging out. We didn't do a podcast today, so we're talking baseball and breaking some uh, Bowman, looking for some Acuna first Bowmans here. So thank you guys for gobbling up these spots. Um, I know we closed out break nine really late, and then I threw this up. Not thinking it was going to fill tonight, and it literally, like, snap filled. It was ridiculous, so thank you, guys. Um, so, let's get started, guys. So, um, here are... Jose, man, don't don't be discouraged. You got some good cards. These, these Bowman boxes, they only have one auto in them, so, um, you know, there's 30 teams in, the, in, in baseball, so you got to... You got to take that into consideration, but I mean, don't 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 get down. You know it happens. All right, guys. So let's get started. Here. And you know how these Bowman boxes work, Mitch. A lot of these cards have late life. Yeah, I know. So. You could you could be sitting on a guy that you didn't think uh, was worth anything, and then yeah. a few years he's up and popping like the the dude for the Reds. Aris, uh, uh, how do you, I don't even know how to say his name actually. Aquino. Aquino, yeah. All right, guys. Um, here is everyone who purchased a spot. Mark L. Mark L. Juice box. Every time I see that, I think of uh, kicking and screaming when we'll go get your juice box. Mikey P. Jason L. And juice box. Close us out. Juice box. I think I want a Capri Sun. Yeah, well, funny story. I called. Uh, I used to call Victoria juice box back in the day. <laughs> All right, I'm going to roll the dice to see how many times we randomize the teams and names. Eleven. Wow, we're going to be here for a while. All right, we'll do the divisions first. And, of course, the money spots the NL East, guys. All right. I think Monster Hit Club needs to go to the one die randomizer. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I should. I didn't even you think should. of that. I did not even think of that. Oh, that would be something else, though. All right, 11 times, guys. We're going to random. My 74 finger. times. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. One. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven times the charm. Ale West. Down to AL East and NL East is in the middle. All right, now the names 11 times. Good luck, everybody. Oh, 11 times on the names. Good luck. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And it is Mark L down to Juice Box. And it looks like Jason L. I believe the four spot was the NL East. So. And Juice Box, I believe, got the AL East, which is another song. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we got Mark L, AL West. Mikey P, NL West. NL Central goes to Juice Box. NL East goes to Jason L. AL Central to Mark L and AL East. Juice Box. All right. Let me snip this up, and then we will uh, rip it up. Juice Box. I got uh, tonight. I got... Um, I don't have white cloths tonight. I got Trulies tonight, but black cherry. So it, it brought a pretty solid autograph. I mean, he's probably one of the top guys 
Guriel in the last box, a refractor. I mean, that he's got to be one of the top first Bowmans to get in this, I would think. Aside from obviously like Acuna and a Luis, Luis Garcia would be sick. So whoever has NL East, oh wow, NL East has Luis Garcia and fucking Ronald Acuna. Jeez. I'm going to put the names on the screen, guys, and then we'll get started. Sorry. are the team names and if, I'm sorry the divisions and the people who purchase spots right there all right guys who's ready to see some cards open them up time let's go it's ripping time Mitchell it is time to rip sometimes you got to sip and rip and that's what I'm gonna do sip then rip uh, you know like a baseball term is grip and rip I sip and rip all right all right, kicking and screaming is where the name came from. That's what I'm talking about. I knew I liked you for a reason. All right, let's see some cards. Got my kids' freaking arts and crafts scissors because I don't have a fancy razor blade like some people do. And these don't work. They're like safety scissors, so it takes me like a hundred times. I like sawn through wood to get these open. That's in the second grade school. Kid. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Things to buy. Razor to open boxes. <laughs> All right, guys. Good luck. Good luck. All right. Alright, let's get this party started, people! Oh, let me move you back, Steven. Sorry, so you can see the cards better. That should be a great angle right there for you. Alright! Good luck to everyone. Juice Box, thanks for closing us out, buddy. Alright. Cabrera. Chikini, this looks like the same start from the last box. I remember Chikini being the second uh, card. He was. Right? Yep, exactly. Oh, let me see. Hold on. I got to see the angle here. All right, we're good. No glares. No angles good. All right. There's a Guriel Papa. Guys, all the cards ship in this. Um, if you don't want some of the paper cards, like the base, just let me know. I won't ship them, but if you want them, I'm going to ship them. There's a Tapia. Bowman Scouts, top 100. Out of, uh, he's number 94 on that list. A lot of college guys taking it in the draft tonight. Yeah, I think people just don't feel comfortable with the high school guys without the senior year. Yeah, that's a good point. I never even thought of that. But college didn't have a senior either, but I guess they have more experience. Yeah, more it's more tape and more... Uh, uh, I was also like thinking it's because with the uh, the attrition of a lot of the teams, they have probably want to invest in guys that are closer to the majors, maybe? Jason Groom, first Bowman for the uh, Red To some Sox. extent. Especially with this kind of season, Mitch, too, some of these college pitchers might be able to help. Especially I agree. If the rosters are expanded. Yeah. But it depends. So I saw, I don't know if this was fake or not, I saw somebody tweet out, or maybe it was on Instagram, they actually agreed to start the season on July 10th, but working out details. Is that true? They keep going back and forth between like the 89 and 76. It sounds like it's going to be somewhere around the 75 game area. Gotcha. Yeah. 
And the, I mean, I thought NBA was going to get started, but now we're hearing that some of the players don't feel comfortable with this new spike. I believe that's the reason why the spike in uh, COVID cases in Florida, they were saying. I think that's what it said. I definitely saw that some are feeling less confident or comfortable playing. I mean, from what it sounds like and the and the, the regulations and everything they're going to put on it, those guys will be the safest guys in America. I agree. I agree. And they're not allowed, they're only allowed to have like a certain amount of family and friends, right? Yeah. Or just family, I think. It maybe. seems like it's going to be pretty controlled. Steve, I got to tell you, when I have the second camera here, the angle that I have to hold my hands in really hurts my back for some reason. This is the price we have to pay for our break. Cody, balance your paper. <laughs> we fight through the pain to bring big hits. I hope so. The truly brought a decent hit last box. After this pack. Once, it once our quarantine ends, I can come off the bench in a sense. Yes. When my back gets sore, you could just jump right in. Bellinger, Chrome. Okay. Take a sip of some truly here, guys. We need a little bump here. Mitch, I truly missed our podcast this evening. Did you use a pun on purpose there? Possibly. <laughs> Shroud paper. All right, hold on. I just realized I, my hand was drifting. I had some major technical difficulties yesterday, guys. Holy crap. Thank God. Juice Box, were you here for that? I can't remember if you were in that uh, that debacle. Well, the, the break was fine. It was just this camera here, right here, um, I work off my iPhone. So I use an app called Epic Cam, right? And it tends to shit the bed every once in a while. And I always forget how I fixed it. So I go through like every thing and I always forget that nine times out of 10, it's just I gotta, I gotta um, uninstall the driver off my computer and then reinstall it and it works fine. And it's like, no matter how many times it's happened, I always forget that that's what I'm supposed to do to fix it. Josh Hader Purple. And that will be number 250 for the Milwaukee Brewers. Some color there. Phillies for Spoonman, Robles, and Blue. Friedel. I'm going to have to get some top loaders in a second. I jumped the gun and forgot to reload my top loaders before the spree. Just all grab those in one second. Is anyone out there? I don't know if anyone's watching. Nobody's popping in the chat unless I'm just not seeing it. Hey, uh, Steve, maybe we got to start one of those waves. You know what movie that's from? I do not. What's that from? Are you serious? No. That's from Major no League. Idea. That's Major League. Hey, Johnny, maybe we should start one of those waves. When the Indians sucked at the beginning of the movie? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just watched it too. That is just pathetic. If I do, if I throw a Rocky quote out there, you'd get it in a heartbeat, though. Without question. No agreement. Or, who was that? What do you mean, Jose? Who for the MLB? What were you talking about before? On July 10th, I saw. I, I just saw it on Instagram. I didn't. Uh, I didn't confirm, and it. it wasn't like it was from like a uh, really credible source. Man, Manfred was came like, out tonight and said there will 100% be baseball this year, so that's a good sign. It was like, uh, it would be like if Steve tweeted it and I was just like, oh my god, it must be true. <laughs> well, then it is true. Yeah. You like how I flipped the cards there with one hand? That's like the dealers when, uh, you know, that was card stylish. dealers. You saw that? I didn't even you have can't to switch hands. Kind of break no! Uh, ben Attendi paper. Oh, that's not a good auto. Fernando Romero for the Twins with some dust on it. 
Well, let's pray for a super. Because that is the auto in this box. The truly did not come through for us there. That's a tough call. That is not good. It's the ups and downs of Bowman, Mitchell. Time out. I need top loaders. Ugh. I'm quickly going through the hundred that just showed up here like two days ago. Top loaders are not easy to find these days. Call Com C. They still have uh, 700 of yours. <laughs> I should. I think I've told that story through other breaks already, so I don't want to belabor it because it's painful, and I don't want to disparage anyone on the show. But that's kind of ridiculous. I think they deserve to be disparaged for that. All right, so I'll tell everyone the COMC story. So, um, uh, if you guys don't know what COMC is, it's a place where you can like sell all your cards. Check out my cards, COMC.com. So I've heard about them and I never really used them, but I here's a Bregman uh, paper rookie card. I've never really used them before, um, but I had so many like mid-tier cards from um, that's the wrong pile from doing breaks of my own. I was like, I don't want to go through and try to sell all these cards. So I was like, I'm just gonna send a big old box to COMC. So I go through the whole process submit my cards I pick my they start you on the submission screen and you pick you know how long you want to do it. so I was like okay three weeks it was like 50 cents a card for them to log it on their website there's an Acuna Chrome baby that's nice. not bad that's a nice card very nice card NL East right there BAM coming through Acuna Chrome hang on to these suckers it's not autographed but last box we didn't see one all we saw was a paper so at least we got a chrome in this one so that's a nice little hit there that's the guy we're looking for in this um so anyway so i you pick your service level and then that's you a cool little maddox there Mitchell. this is another guriel what'd you say that's a cool maddox card oh i didn't even realize it let's yeah. show it you like to appreciate these cards huh steven yeah. I'm just blowing through them. I'm sorry, guys. Tell me to slow down if you want me to slow down. Guriel first. Um, 92 Bowman's one of my favorite sets of all time. Really? Yes. Um, I don't know which one is my favorite, to be honest with you. I don't have one. I don't think. 86, I've always said, tops is always near and dear to my heart because that was... I. For, as far as I can remember back, that was the first I got for Christmas, the complete set. But back to my COMC story, because you're distracting me. You want me to tell a story, and then you take me down memory lane. I believe they just charged you another $3 for yeah. download while you were telling the story. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to get a check. I, I'm going to get a charge for charging them royalties for saying their name on my uh, break. <laughs> Uh, so uh, we can, maybe we can call it even. <laughs> here's another one of those cards. So um, I uh, I send them uh, like 400 cards, right? But I go through the process, and all it really is, it's like verify your address, pick your your service level, tells you how much it's gonna charge, and at the end, it's like print this out and stick it in your box and ship it to us and there's like really you're like okay wing in a prayer hopefully they actually process these cards because there's not like a you don't fill out a checklist and say i'm sending you these 300 cards you just say i'm sending you 300 dollar cards i mean i mean 300 cards or 400 cards and then uh you pray that they all get up there right for your first time using it that was always sketchy to me that's why i never tried it but i was like you know what i'm gonna give it a try because other people were there's a nick senzel first uh First Bowman Chrome. We didn't even see any of his cards last. Oh, and a paper right behind it. So Senzel we made up for hit. it. Senzel hit at every level. Senzel's going to hit. So, and a long story short, I fill out the paperwork. I send them my cards. Oh, wrong. I send them my cards in a box, and I leave them in top loaders, right? And then they get my cards. They process them after three weeks. 
they get up on on the uh, screen, you know, in the, in their website, and I immediately start selling. Like people are offering me, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. So I have 350 cards up there. I just had to go in and set all the prices, which took me about 30 minutes. They scanned all the pictures. They keep the cards there and store them and all that. It's it's phenomenal, right? So wrong. No, 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 this it gets even better. So I get overzealous. I'm like, holy crap, this is great. I've just sold half my cards in a week. I'm gonna send them 400 more. I would like to just Aaron Judge paper on this rookie bench. card. I received many text messages of jubilation from my co host Yes, Steve will vouch for me, and probably <laughs> a million other people. I was like, you gotta try them. I've never. Here's an Eloy Jimenez. We didn't see any of him last box either. Um, paper. Uh, so lo and behold, I I sell a card on eBay, right? Randomly, this this has a, unrelated, but it comes back, right? So I send them another four hundred card, four hundred, a big box of four hundred cards, another four hundred, and I'm in the process. I sell my higher end cards on eBay still. So I sell. Here's a Victor Robles Chrome card. Um, I sell. A hand card and then I noticed that the guy who bought it had a mailbox with COMC where if you buy a card on eBay they actually if you have a COMC account you could you could have your card shipped straight to them and they put it right into your quote-unquote vault where you could then relist it for sale keep it there and hold it or whatever you want to do with it so I was like how do I get one of those mailboxes so I go on to their website and I'm like, where? How could I get one? So I'm looking around, and I go look in the footer of the of the uh, website. And down in the footer, it has a list of all all kinds of crap, which I didn't notice before, by the way. And one of them, I found the mailbox thing, so I went and set it up. But I also noticed how to ship cards to us, and I was like, how to ship cards? I've been shipping cards my whole life. I know how to ship cards, right? <laughs> oh, so you thought? <laughs> yes. Au contraire, mon frère. <laughs> I read, and it's in like big bold letters. It says, do not send cards in top loaders. I go, shit, I sent them 800 cards in top loaders. Thinking that they needed them to then, if somebody bought the card, to ship it in the top loader. No. On top of that, it says, if you ship your cards in top loaders... You'll be charged a 50 cent surcharge for every card. So now I'm like, oh, but they'll cut me some slack. It was my first time, right? Did you mention the emoji of the middle finger next to the disclaimer? No, there was no middle finger. <laughs> but that's what I wanted to send them in return. So I go, okay, well, I didn't get charged for it. So maybe they cut me some slack since it was my first one. But I was thinking maybe they'll charge me on the second one. Like not even a week later, bang charged me 50 cents for each car in a top loader so i sent them an email Mitch, you might want to take out that moncada that's a rookie where Did you I passed it? it sorry guys i uh <laughs> so i sent him an email i was like listen it was my first time through the whole process of you processing your order nowhere did it say uh here's your shipping you know your 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 shipping label or whatever please do not ship cards in top loaders like that would be the perfect spot to put it yes. so i could go oh all right because i was going to ship 800 cards to you in top loaders so now i'm out 800 top loaders which i could have used and plus you charged me 50 cents more for every freaking card that i sent you so it turned from a 50 cent charge to a one dollar charge for each card so as you could see, when you ship 800 cards there, you don't want to put them in top loaders, guys. Please don't. Don't make the same mistake I did. Because I didn't even get the bill for the second box yet. They're processing that how right now. How do they now, want still. them shipped then? In, in, oh, in, oh, so how you're supposed to ship them is... In a hard case? In a penny sleeve. Okay. A penny sleeve. And then a... um, one Here, I'll show you one of these boxes right here. In like one of these boxes right here. See this box? I don't know if I trust sending cards. I, I don't know. That's so they want you to ship it in that and then just in a penny sleeve. 
So that would have been the last way I would have thought to ship it, but I guess uh, I guess they do their own thing there. So, all right, last pack, guys. Thanks for joining, everyone. Thank you, everybody. I'll do a quick recap after this pack. There wasn't a lot of color in this pack, pack box either. I feel right. like we had more in the last break. We had a purple. But we got a, a jumbo coming tomorrow, so. I mean, I have it here Three. now, but I didn't list it yet. But Three big autos in that one. Yeah, hopefully. All right, guys. Thank you to everyone who purchased spots. That was the break. I will do a quick recap of the hits. I will ship all cards. Um, unless, of course, you tell me not to ship you um, something in particular. Like if you don't want paper base cards, just let me know. I have no problem not shipping them. Saves me the work and energy, but I have no problem shipping them if I want them. I said all card shipping this, so one box break, everything ships when you buy a whole division. So you spent your money, you get your cards. Alright. Oh, I can sleeve up a couple more. Alright, so here are some of the hits. And there weren't many. All right, tough box, but we got some. We got Cunha, um, Chrome, Nick Senzel, Paper, Alex Bregman, Aaron Judge, Paper, Rookie, Eli Jimenez, Nick Senzel, Chrome. There's the Acuna, Chrome. That's probably the, the best card in the whole box. There's the Auto, Fernando Romero. And Josh Hader Purple, Refractor. All right, guys, there's a 2020 Bowman uh, listed on Instagram now. That's close to filling. It's a hobby slash jumbo box mixer, one box of each. I will look to break that tomorrow. It should fill tomorrow, I'm thinking. Um, and I'm going to put up the 2017 uh, Bowman Jumbo. Uh, tomorrow morning as well, so maybe that'll fill. It's going to be a little more expensive because the box is literally triple in price. I have it right here, so it's here. And I could get more of these. I mean, I have access to all this stuff, so um, I just figured this would be cooler. I tried to list it earlier, but um, I uh, mislisted it by accident, and then I just never got around to relisting it. So I'm going to put it up today or tonight, um, and hopefully this will break tomorrow. It'll probably be a 180 per spot, and we'll do divisions again. So a little bit more per spot, but you have a shot at three autographs on this. The box is like more than, it's almost double the price of the other one. So um, you're actually not paying double the price for your spot, so that's good. Um, so three autographs, I'll list that tomorrow if anyone's interested. Um, but aside from that, thanks for joining us tonight, guys. Thanks for purchasing your spots, and uh, don't forget to follow us on... Instagram at Monster Hits Club. And uh, I'll see you all soon. All right, guys. Talk to you later.